So here we have some rays of light, and if we put a concave lens in, what we can see is that although the middle ones kind of go in a straight line, the ones at the edge start to bend in, but not to a significant amount. Uh, if I use this lens instead, uh, what we can see is that these start to converge at the focal point over here at a distance known as the focal length. And if I put this other lens in here, what we can see is that the effect is even greater. Now this lens here is a lot fatter in the middle, which means that when the light hits it at each end, there's a greater amount of refraction that takes place, so the light bends a bit more. And this lens here, which has got a short focal point, is even more powerful. Now the other thing we can do uh, to make this focal point even shorter is combine the lenses together. And what you can see is as I add all of these lenses, that focal point gets shorter and shorter, and that means effectively this, the combined power of this lens gets even more powerful. Now when we use the symbol P, uh, although we're talking about power, it's not in watts. And the power of a lens is equal to 1 over the focal length. Effectively, the shorter the focal length, the more powerful the lens. Now, the units for this are measured in diopters. Uh, and the word, you know, opter is a bit like optician. Uh, so this is the unit that we measure the power of a lens in. Now, um, if you have many lenses, then effectively the combined power is equal to the power of each of those individual lenses all added together. And uh, that basically gives us the total power of the lens. Shorter the focal length, more powerful. Pretty straightforward.